Hey guys, welcome back. Had a bit of an epiphany when I did that last video. I, I, I said a line in passing that maybe some of you just picked up on, maybe some of you just didn't, but it made me think. I said you could build a solid collection from these uh, cheap $5 dupes if, uh, if, if you knew what to buy. Because let's be honest, like I said, half if not a little more aren't very good. When you get a good one, it's it's more than worth five dollars. And uh, so I got thinking. Well, maybe I should give you a video on uh, ten. Now these aren't necessarily my favorite ten, and they're not going to be ranked in any order. Just ten five dollar dupes that you could have a complete collection with for fifty dollars. Depend, including tax, whatever tax is in your area. So fifty dollars plus tax. Um, these 10 fragrances are, are, are good. Uh, they smell, like I said, 95%, if not more, close to what they're duping. Um, they perform pretty well for $5. All of these are about five hour scents. Uh, a couple are longer than that, but on average, five hour scents with an hour projection <clears throat> get you through most of a work day, get you through a night out, get you through a date. They'll all do that. Um, like I said, they've got all seasons covered, all occasions covered, whatever. And with these 10 here, you wouldn't have to buy another scent. You'll have everything covered. Um, let's start out with the one I just did, the Invictus Dupe Conquest. And I'm not going to give you notes and shit like that. That'd be ridiculous. Be here forever. I'm trying to make this a little quicker. Um, yeah, Invictus Conquest. Sweet, aromatic, musky, woody, compliment getting anytime, anywhere type of scent. Really shines in the summer though. Um, next is uh, Black Tie, gentlemen, Eau de Perfume. Um, again, preferred fragrance. These are all preferred fragrances, I think, except for one. And I'll say which one that is. Um, yeah, uh, Tom Ford uh, Tobacco Beneath. Uh, dark, almost cola, root beer-like, with a hint of tobacco. Great for the fall and winter. Uh, Uno One. I don't even think I've talked about this. This time I've worn it a lot. I like it. It's uh, Dolce & Gabbana The One. Sexy, boozy. A little sweet, spicy, kind of easy to wear date night scent, really. Uh, yeah. This one's a little weird because a lot of you are going to be a lot. This is Dark Bloom Eau de Parfum Woman. But it's a dupe of Eve, uh, Dior uh, Black Opium. Uh, a very nice... Yeah, very nice, sweet gourmand. You get some berries off the top, at least I do. Uh, but I mostly get a dark chocolate kind of patchouli vibe from it. Uh, very easily worn by men if you don't if you like that dark chocolate, sweet gourmand esque. Jeez, what a scent! I said it's a little feminine at the start. I'm not gonna lie, you know, but it doesn't last too long. It. It's a little berry-esque off the top, but that only lasts about 15 minutes. And then that, I don't know if it's patchouli or not, but it's definitely a cocoa chocolate kind of smell. And really nice, really good performer too. Um, this is the one that isn't by preferred. It's Umo Brave Men. It's uh, by Dos, Dosis USA, New York USA, which I think is a brand or like a subsidiary of preferred fragrance uh, one sec I forget what this is okay I'm back it's Tom Ford Noir Extreme uh, another one I find even uh, feminine scent more feminine than even the, the black opium but still masculine enough to be worn another sweet floral gourmand type scent very powerful um, next is Gentleman Pour Homme obviously from the bottle can you guess? 
That's right, Savage. No, <laughs> Dior or Dior, because I said Savage. Dolce Cabana, Pour Home. Herbal, tobacco, citrus, a very masculine, very mature boardroom office kind of scent. Uh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, hombre. Hombre. Uh, preferred version of uh, Salvatore Ferragamo Umo. Again, another sweet gourmand. Perfect for the winter. It's dark. It's heavy. Uh, there's a tiramisu, so it gives it kind of a creamy chocolate kind of vibe to it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just a beautiful scent and compliment beast. Um, Touch Verdict Dark. Uh, Gucci Guilty Black. Um, a simple, very, you know, some, some Aquiesque vibe to it citrus it's clean it's slightly sweet it's it's woodsy it's musky uh very simple scent but a very a very well-loved profile girls love it um again an anywhere anytime kind of scent maybe not the winter late fall early spring and winter might not want to rock it because it might be a little too weak but other than that it does what it does gorgeous gorgeous um Aquario Absolute Intense. This is another one that's not by Preferred. It's by Mirage, which is another similar kind of thing. $5 for this, I believe. Uh, Aqua to Geo Absolute. Um, it's aquatic, peppery, spicy, musky. A little bit of woods. Beautiful scent. Uh, I find that's the biggest underrated Aqua to Geo, the Absolute one. It, it's and it's my favorite one yeah she's i might wear that again tomorrow no i just did a review of that not too long ago but yeah i really like that peppery fresh peppery kind of vibe it gives and one of my newest ones <clears throat> that i haven't worn yet or haven't reviewed yet worn a couple times the last couple months um is enduring man now to look at this you'd think it's going to be an aqua de geo clone because it's kind of the same bottle as all the preferred aqua de geos and whatnot and but it's actually uh imperial armani uh stronger with you <clears throat> uh intensely or absolute like absolute and it's got a rum vibe to it a sweet yeah, the sweet rum is what I pick up. A sweet rum. And it is... If you like Stronger With You, Stronger With You Freeze, Stronger With You Absolutely, I mean Stronger With You Intensely, it's got that DNA out. You can smell it. It, it smells like Stronger With You. Every one of them has got that DNA. But it's got this, like I said, the sweet rum type of chord, which just brings it up that next level just mm, pushes it above the rest oh can you ever smell in here so yeah guys that's uh i mean you could buy these 10 50 dollars again plus tax whatever taxes in your area and you would get 10 cents that perform relatively well for the price um all will get you compliments in some way or another none of them are really offensive that i can think of uh the ombre might be a little too sweet for some people. And, uh, but other than that, yeah, I mean, $50, you're set. You don't have to buy any cologne, probably for years. Like, I don't, I don't know how else to say it. it, it a nice, cheap, and you've got yourself A $50 cheap dupe wardrobe that will set you for years for every occasion, every situation, every season, every, everything. Bang, right here. And it costs you 50 bucks. Less than a bottle of any one of these individually. 
Now, there are going to be people out there, you know, elitists, people who want to sound important, whatever. Oh, no, these are horrible. $5. No, these are great, especially for $5. $5. They don't smell. Not one of them smells like they're a $5 set. They all smell like their design or their copy. They all smell that good. And they all perform, like I said, there's some of them here, like the Opium, the Black Tie, uh, the Ombre, the Enduring Man. Uh, they all, they, they give you seven, eight, nine hours of performance with a couple hours projection. But on average, the average is five hours roughly and about an hour to an hour and a half projection on all of these. $50. You will smell like you spent way more. You will smell expensive. And you didn't spend... More than fifty dollars, so can't top that, guys. Um, and I also want to say I wear these. <clears throat> Before I started this channel, this is the reason I started this channel because I've had some of these that were so good that nobody talked about. Um, these are ones, you know, you're not going to find any armoffs here. Latafas, Al Haramains, uh, any of them ones because they're. I like to keep these. I could have included a bunch of them, but A, they're not $5 or under. And B, like I said in my other video, you cannot walk into most stores and pick up an arm off. Not in North America anyway. There are some, of course, but you're not going to walk into a Walmart, a Target, a Giant Tiger, a Dollarama, a Walmart. I don't know if I already said that or not, but you're not going to walk in and pick up an arm off. An Al Haramain, uh... Paris Corner, uh, La Taffa. you know, these are just, they're only available basically in certain geographic regions and online. These are going to be widely available in Canada, at least, at Dollarama, Urban Planet, and uh, Giant Tiger, and a couple other places. States, I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. Uh, whatever your equivalent is of O stores will probably have these or something like them. So that's it, guys. Peace, love, be good to each other. Oh, you can also go to preferredfragrance.com. Uh, I've never tried to order from there, but my understanding is you have to order. It's not just a one bottle. You've got to order a, a pack. It's like 30 or something in a pack. And uh, which still wouldn't be bad if you get like four or five different scents few bottles of each keep two bottles sell two bottles i mean that's what you want to do but yeah anyway guys peace love be good to each other